Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the adcreative.ai tutorial. In this, I'm mostly going to focus on shorts. However, this is going to be used pretty much the same process aside from changing a few things, which I'm going to walk you through. If you'd like to follow along, adcreative.ai does come with a free trial and I will put a link down below in case you want to follow along. It's a very simple process and so far the results have been very good from my limited trying, which I'm going to do even more videos for, so stick around for those. First thing you're going to need to do in case you haven't done this yet, the most important thing is identifying your brand and coming up with like your logo and your colors overall. I already have one right here, but I'll show you what I did when it comes to editing. So first of all, you're going to have your brand name. I just put Marketing Island. I do have a logo here. I use Canva to create one. Came out pretty good. When, and when you do that, it automatically chooses the colors that come along with it, which is cool. So it properly identifies the colors that are already used in your logo. So you can have a lot of correlation and similarities when you get your final product. Last but not least, I just put brand description. I put, you know, my, once again, the, the brand name. And of course, you can pick from what you have here. I just put technology, save brand. And if you want to do any advanced setup, you can connect ad accounts, select your brand and font upload an alternative logo if you want to do that but i just went with this save brand we are good to go from here you're probably going to get directed to the ad creative section if not you can just go right here and do new post or new project and here we have what we're going to be picking so a story size is what i talked about like you see this a lot on say uh, youtube or it could be instagram right just because it's an advertisement doesn't mean that you can't use it for a post or just a story or anything like that but either way it's going to have the dimensions there uh, display sizes this is going to be most common sizes for display advertising i'll do a completely different video for that so we can focus more on that aspect so product display description let's do story doesn't have to be anything crazy target audience and let's scroll down that sounds about good small business owners let's click on save and continue okay so here's the cool thing we can obviously create our headlines you can also use ai you know if you want to but just for this specific uh, headline and punchline here i'm going to go with something related to what marketing island is about when it comes to like software and demos and so on and so forth so give me a section and i'm going to just type these in all right, and perfect. So I just put the best software for automation and I asked the question, are you using these software tools? Like which software tools, right? Uh, obviously, if you're gonna be more niche down and you wanna talk about maybe a specific software, you can do that. I'm just going overall being kind of broad just to show you like what we can do with this. And of course, from there, we have discovered the best options. This is gonna be our call to action. I like that there. And if you wanna change around the icons, which is showing right there, you can. I think that looks good. So I'm just gonna go with save and continue. Okay, and so we have upload a background image. The cool thing is that you can obviously just use their image search. There's gonna be plenty of them for you to choose from. So for this, let's just do marketing. Okay, there's plenty of free ones and plenty of paid ones. So this one's good if you're doing like say SEO, you know, an SEO knows what that means. You know, it's very niche down. So marketing strategy, uh, let's see a lot of people marketing together. It's loading a little there. I think I'm going to go with one like, how about this? This looks good. Select picture. And we can obviously change around the aspect like that. And the funny thing is the first time I tried this, I go, well, you know, that doesn't look too bad. You know, like it created it for me, but there's so much more than that. Like, so let's continue going on. So you can also generate with several background images if you want to do that. Talks about how it works, but just at this time, I'm going to go with this one. If you really want to get a ton of ad creatives in terms of like a lot of examples at once, this is going to be good for you. But let's just roll with one picture for now. Obviously, if you have your own, you can just upload it and do it that way. But, but let's go with how it is now and let's go on create a post. Let's do marketing island short. And here's going to be the great part that I love the most. Save and continue or generate. So post generation, our AI is reading your data. Best practices are applied. Conversion rate optimization is applied. How cool is that? Creatives are being generated and creatives are ready to be downloaded, which is the last step, which should be very shortly. And here we go. Okay, so how cool is this? Not only does it have a lot of different like versions of showing like the picture and so on and so forth. Oops, did I not do PNG? I should have done PNG. Okay, so note to self, make sure you do a, uh, I think I, I created the logo and I forgot to save it as being transparent. You wanna make sure it's transparent so that when it goes over like this, it doesn't look ugly. So aside from that, 
this is great. As you can see, conversion score, if you click on this, it says, based on your data, we believe this template can bring you the best results. Make sure that your colors look good on the template, edit if needed. And obviously we can edit that just by adding in a different logo, which I'm gonna do in further videos. In fact, I'll probably create a different one just you know, to test out different ones. So conversion scores, uh, and it has different spots for your logo, obviously it has a different call to action, excuse me, a different location for the call to action. Some of these will be in different text bubbles. As you can see, this is transparent, but it also has some dark to it. This is complete white in the background. Some of the pictures are gonna be in different sizes. And obviously these are gonna have the X's over because they are um, watermarked. Obviously when you download them, you get them that aren't going to be but just kind of scrolling down, I think this is just phenomenal. Not only does it give you like pretty much geared around what you wanted, but it gives you a ton of examples. And we can just keep going down. And as I talked about before, if you want to use multiple pictures, that's what's going to really allow you to give you a lot of variations at once. So that was going to be the option. Instead, we just used one. I like something simple like that, where the logo is going to be white around it. So I could probably make the logo a little bit bigger. Also a note to myself, just for a uh, further tutorials, but I will be making some other logos because uh, you can use these for a lot of different types of businesses, obviously not just online marketing, but I kind of use my brand and software as an example when it comes to the headline, what it's all about and how you can go from there. But you can download it right here if you want to do that. You can edit it and this is going to be render this image in other sizes or images, excuse me, or render this image in other sizes. I had to write the first time, but I was just thinking of too many things at once. But overall, that's going to be a very quick tutorial when it comes to using adcreative.ai. I think that it is so cool that you can start with something pretty plain give it like a picture you have your logo obviously you can upload what you want and then it just spits out so many different creatives for you to use and like I said you'll get even more if you want to use multiple images when you go to choose your image so that about does it if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below I hope that this tutorial helps you out where if you like say just get started you can go through this and of course utilize it follow the steps and then go from there if you haven't gotten to test it out I will leave my link down below they do come with a free trial and you get some free credits you can actually test this out and get some ad creatives yourselves. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.